Hey everybody, it's Mark again, and there's a, a guy on YouTube that is working on a East Meckenbecker uh, cuckoo clock that has music, and he asked a question, and I did not have a video uh, to answer his question, so I'm going to answer it in this video. Uh, first of all, this is the East Meckenbecker cuckoo clock. They're pretty valuable. It's uh, especially if they got the right topper on it. And the right topper consists of this grouse or turkey or whatever that is. But uh, this is the East Meckenbecker movement. And you can tell it's the East Meckenbecker movement because of this assembly right here. If it's got this assembly right here, it's for the East Meckenbecker movements that have the dancing platform on them. And I'm going to try to explain what this guy needs to do. Uh, first of all, he needs to loosen this nut and this nut and put this assembly on so it is catching the, the gears just right. Um, this assembly catches this gear right here. This gear has got a shaft that goes all the way over to the music. This music box is mounted to the side of the clock, and then this has to be adjusted just right so it so this gear lines up with this gear. And then you would tighten this nut up. Okay, but what happens is When the cuckoo is is uh, functioned, this lever right here prevents this um, governor fan on the music box from turning. So that's why the music will not play while the clock is cuckooing. And then after it gets done cuckooing, and I'm going to see if I could do that here on camera. When it's done cuckooing, this lever drops enough to allow the governor fan on the music box to rotate. And when it's, when it's activated, <clears throat> this lever right here comes out of the slot on this wheel and it's got a spring on it as you can see there's a spring on there and when that spring is to allow the the notes to finish playing okay so let me trip the cuckoo again and it's, it only has one hole in this arbor. That means it only plays on the hour. I take that back. There are two holes in this arbor. The arbor is over here. So that means it plays music on the hour and the half hour. And so, uh, Let's go ahead and trip this thing to um, when when it's tripped. Of course, you got the weights on, so the weight is going to uh, 
to um, ensure this tab that goes in that hole comes out of the hole. And then after it's done cuckooing, and I'm going to pretend like it's done cuckooing, this lever is dropped so the governor fan can spin. And the, uh, I'm going the wrong way. I need to be pushing up. So I got to get that out of the way again. And so the music is played. And then when it's done playing, like I said, this spring, this tab is going to go into this hole. And it's going to allow the spring is going to uh, to make sure it is pulled back. It pulls back to allow this tab to, to catch the fan to quit to stop the music. So I'm going to do this again. As you can see, this lever is coming up. This lever here, this lever here pushes on this black lever to allow this to come out of its tab. I got to allow it to quit cuckooing. The music is playing. It stopped. This lever hits the fan. And again, let's watch it in slow motion. Watch this lever here. It's going to trip this lever up here. You got to put the nut back on, Mark. This is coming out of the, the tab. It's coming out of the slot. And again, with weights on it will be in the position that it needs to be in after it gets done cuckooing all the levers drop to allow the fan to spin Plus, with the East Meckenbecker um, movements, a lot of the uh, dancing platform has got a special clip on it. This wobbles some, and the reason why that wobbles some is I don't have the right clips on it. I'll stand by, I'm going to show you the right clip. This is the right clip, the star-shaped clip. It's convex, so it pushes down on the platform. That way the platform doesn't rotate. There's another picture of it. That's just uh, this thing broken down. That's all the parts. But, like I said, this, this black star-shaped clip is convex. So when you put the E-clip on, it pushes down on the dancing platform. And stand by and let me show you something else. This is the famous E. Schmeckenbecker church clock. As you can see, 
this platform bounces up and down is because I don't have that star shaped clip. So when the music is played, these guys don't rotate right. They hit the sides of the case because I need that special clip. And unfortunately, because it's a East Meckenbacker clock, you can't find those parts that easily. Um, one of the clock sites sells the kit, and it's like $25 or, I forget, and for, for that one washer. I'm a cheap person. I'm not going to pay that for that washer. I'll make one. Here's the East Meckenbecker. It's the Woodsman clock without the water wheel. I love the East Meckenbecker clocks. Um, they are very talented droop. This is a Seth Thomas cuckoo clock, but it has the East Meckenbecker movement inside of it. And when I got it, the 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 wheel would not rotate properly uh, and I could not find the proper gearing for it so I had to uh, clip the um, the posts off for the musicians the musicians should rotate halfway and then turn as they turn around but because of the uh the setup on the clock i had to clip um, those uh, parts and now they don't turn around and that's because it had the wrong it's got the wrong gearing in the movement uh, to make the music box um, turn so getting back to why I created this video in the first place is the guy was having trouble with the East Meckenbecker movement. So I'm going to take these nuts off so I can show you what that assembly looks like. This is the assembly right here. It's got a plastic gear in this one, but you need to clean this assembly. Take a toothpick and clean out all the pinion gears so there's no dirt, etc., on it. You could take this thing apart if you want. There's a compression e-clip on this and the three nuts. You could take it apart. Uh, make sure you take plenty of pictures. Um, here is the, uh, the assembly close up. A lot of times this is bent. And a lot of times you don't have that spring. The spring is what you need to make sure that you have. It is connected from here to up here to allow this to come down. And then this gear, like I said, this gear is what rotates your dancers and my dancing platform it's better on this one than the church clock but they take that 
star um, clip that goes underneath this e-clip to hold this platform down. And then you want to make sure that this, this and this are not bent because if they are bent, they're not going to lift up the assembly. And all you got to do when you put the assembly on is when you put it on, you want to put it on so um, <clears throat> so the the gears match up and that you could turn it easily. I'm going to start some nuts. And put this back together. But again, this is on the East Meckenbecker musical clocks with the dancing platform. This nut up here, this section up here, I think they both have oblong holes in them. That way you can adjust it, which they do. So, uh, I'm going to get the cuckoo to quit cuckooing. And then I'm going to rotate this wheel and make sure it's easily to rotate. You'd want to put a chain with the weight on and then tighten up these nuts. That would be the easiest thing to do. But again, uh, the reason why I know this thing goes down, uh, sorry, it's pushed up because the ratchet wheel comes down. So I know it's pushed up. The dancers are spinning around. And there it's finished. I hope this video helped you out. This uh, particular movement was made in 1972. Uh, Regulus started a day code in 1970. They'll have the movement, which 25 identifies this as a one day movement. And they're either going to have a letter or a two digit year. This one's 72. I just showed you on my Kuhner clock that's 1986. And they're both by Schmeckenbacher. And I think that the person that made the clock would stamp either a year or a date code. I don't know, but in 1970, Regula, which is a trademark, uh, Joseph Berger started uh, the, the Regula uh, Manufacturing Company. It's a trademark uh, for movements. And uh, in 1970, they started a, a date code, either a letter or two digit year. Anyway, I hope y'all liked this video. Uh, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it's free to do so. And may God bless each and every one of you.